This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Central Texas Life with Ann Harder presents Central Texas Events. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Central Texas Events. And we're going to talk about one of the premier events in Central Texas. It's always rated one of the top, yes. top favorite for yes. the city of Waco, and I'm talking about the HEB Celebrity Cook-Off, benefiting the Waco ISD Education Foundation, and I have the lovely Stephanie Hines <laughs> with us, and uh, Stephanie, you, you know, you've kind of taken the bull by the horns with the cook-off this year, yes. and uh, how are things going? They're going great. Um, we are definitely down to crunch time. We'll be three weeks out from the event tomorrow, um, so, you know, all of those final details are rolling in and um, trying to get our final table sales done. And um, like I said, just trying to get all of those final details put in place before the event. Well, it is a, a very popular event. It's popular with the celebrity chefs who have many of them, I think of Joe Kaleo done a year after year after year after year. So many uh, folks just love, and it's a lot of people come. How, about how many are you expecting this year? We typically expect around 450 to 500 people. Yeah. Um, thankfully, it is a very casual event. And yes, I think, I think that that's why people draw, love it. Right? Um, because it's on a Friday night. We try to get people out by 10 o'clock. Um, and you just come and sample food and visit with your friends play a couple of games and um, raise money for the Education Foundation. So. Well, and that's what's so exciting because of how many years now are we at? 15? It, well, it started in 2005. Um, I know that there were a couple of years that we had to pause due to COVID. COVID, okay. So I think this is like 18, I, it's, I believe. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's oh been around goodness. for a very long time. Very long time. And uh, this is something that my former colleague, Bruce Skeetson, helped get, yes. get going. And this is the first year he's kind of stepped back right. after many years. But what a successful event it's been for the teachers in Waco ISD. And that's what this is all about. Let's talk about the foundation sure. and how how proceeds from the cook-off help those teachers in the classroom. Absolutely. So all of the money raised at the event goes back to help teachers directly. It um, helps fund classroom grants. And so the idea is that the money we raise goes directly back to those to help teachers fund those special projects. And it's so exciting um, for me. For many years, I was involved with the foundation board, and uh, we did a golf tournament. We did a lot of different things to raise money. And and when Bruce got the cook-off going, it just became such a popular, successful event that more than a million dollars raised. Is that Actually, I, I just looked this figure up, so I can uh -huh. I can attest to it. It's one point six seven. Oh gosh, yes. pushing, yes. pushing two million dollars, and these teachers can then become very creative in submitting their applications for a grant to help them in everything from music teachers to well culinary arts. We mm -hmm. talked with um, uh, with Mike Osborne at. at uh, University High School Culinary Arts and how how that um, grant helped him and his students. Um, mm. What does it mean to you when you get to go into the classrooms and many times surprise these teachers? Oh my gosh, it is it's the best. I always tell people that I have the best job because I bring the party, <laughs> right? I get to yeah, bring, yeah, right. bring I get to party. bring the check. I get to bring the um, excitement, the balloons, and a lot of times teachers don't know that they've been awarded. No, they know they've submitted, but Exactly. They so get a lot totally of surprised. submissions and, and they only have a limited amount of money to give. About how much a year do you award? So we award typically around 100000 uh, It's a, it's every, a nice Every year. Amount. Last year we did, I believe it was close to 140 000. Really? Yes. Um, last year we had a very good year with that the That is a good year. So we were able to um, award a little bit more than we typically do. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's, it is, um, it's very rewarding seeing these teachers with these passion projects that they have and they get – um, sometimes they're brought to tears because they know oh. what these projects are going to be able to do for their students. Well, and I think if people really understood how much out of their own pockets that 
teachers spend in that classroom and then to be able to provide a richer opportunity for their students mm -hmm. to experience whatever the project is they've conceived it's just money that's not there right Exactly. For the, in, the, in the budget in the of budget. keeping the lights on and, you know, Right, and so this, the idea is that these, the things that they are asking for are outside of your normal school budget. Oh, absolutely. Right, so, the, I mean, the supplies and things like that, that should be covered. But we're looking at, um, and, and actually right now, the grant application process is open. Oh, good. And so um, teachers have, we just extended the window, and they have until next Friday to be able to submit what's called their intent to apply. Mm -hmm. And so it's just a very quick one one page write up before they submit a full application just to give the committee an idea of what their idea what, is mm, what's coming and um, if they're going to be invited to submit a full proposal and so oh so um, that's an additional process that seems correct. like we didn't use to yes yeah. and yeah. so it kind of helps um, those if if the committee realizes that it one it does not fit within our pillars of funding right it does not waste their time mm -hmm. to submit a full proposal right. or that makes sense. um from from the get-go if they feel like um you know one we funded this numerous times um just some things right. like that and then they may um, not know that <clears throat> exactly right exactly so yeah. but about how many submissions do you get um so last year we had over a hundred. Oh my goodness it was it was a, a fantastic problem to have yeah. um, because then you also have to have grant readers <laughs> right. to be able to read these applications as well. Mm -hmm. And so um, that also kind of hints why we had such, um, we, we awarded so many yeah. um, last year as well. Well, and I've done that once. <laughs> yes. And it, it's just amazing the creativity of, of our teachers in Waco ISD. Um, the creativity, this is a pretty clumsy segue, though, of our chefs <laughs> who will yes, be yes. providing all kinds, of, uh, all kinds of things. Let's talk a little bit more about the event. Sure. Again, it's going to be Friday, February 9th, and it's at the base. Now, this mm -hmm. is the third year Correct. for the yes. base. Uh, we've had it over the years since the beginning. I've been involved <laughs> since the very beginning. We've been from the Texas Ranger um, Sports Hall, Texas Sports Hall of Fame mm -hmm. to you know, just all over Right. Yes, yeah, the, I, I have the heard lion. That it's we were the lions then. Traveled a little bit around town. Oh so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, the base has really worked out very nicely. Yes, it has. It's it's a great venue. Um, easy parking. It is. It's easy to get in, and uh, and often, uh, of course, part of part of the process to make it a fun event, the um, celebrity chefs they're judged um, by the flavors and so forth whatever right. they're providing yes. for folks to eat but also decorating their mm -hmm. their little table right and uh, how they display and so it's it just makes for a very festive yes. evening for yes. everybody it does and they're they're judged on um their creativity and then we do have categories specific to their dish so like best mm -hmm. appetizer uh, best entree so on and so forth and um, we also do a people's choice award where people can drop in money in their vase yeah um and so that's an added level of fundraising for us which is fantastic that's what we're there and for so then um people can can award the people's choice so to speak mm -hmm. um and their favorite uh, overall contender well of course everybody's called up on stage all of the celebrity chefs and and the these various awards are uh, are handed out, um, but they're fun games too, tops yes. or tails, mm -hmm. and and just fun things. But it, it, there's not a program per se, right? But you do provide the opportunity for teachers in the district to be able to come we, to uh, just take part. We do, yes. Thankfully, um, sometimes our sponsors are not able to use their tables, and so mm -hmm. they donate it back to the foundation, and then that's where we invite teachers to come and attend. Yeah. Um, I think it's important for them to, to see the process of raising the money um, because it does directly affect them in sure. their classroom and their students. Sure, and, and they can show their appreciation as well for the way the community does want to come out and support Absolutely. Uh, what they're doing. I think often teachers may feel like they're just sort of forgotten, <laughs> unsung, it is. you know, beat up on, <laughs> right. lot, it is, all it those is things. It is a hard, hard profession, but yeah. we are very blessed that Waco is a very, very giving community. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And uh, HEB, of course, been the, the uh, titular sponsor for yes. quite a while. Very excited for them. But a lot of great sponsors yes. who have stepped up. And uh, a lot of, you know, just fun, unexpected things you'll learn when you come to the cook-off uh, about, you know, the students. We... Um, have had, you know, the 
University Culinary Arts mm -hmm. kiddos there, which uh, they always are a it's favorite. phenomenal. They yes. always win. <laughs> yes, yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very, very good what, what they're doing. And, um, yeah, so it's, it's just a fun event. So you do have some tables left. We do. We do have a handful of tables left. Um, a table of eight is 1500 mm -hmm. um, If you are interested in purchasing a table, they can contact me. Um, my phone number is 755-9510, or email address is just stephanie.hines at wacoisd.org. Right. And so, but can individual tickets be bought at the they, door? Or not do at they the need door. To, so is, they need to have a reservation correct. of some kind. It is a pre-purchased yeah. um, ticketed event. So unfortunately, we do not do any table or ticket sales at the door. Mm -hmm. um, we can sell individual tickets. An individual ticket is one eighty seven fifty. Um, so that is a possibility. Too. Okay. Well, good, good. And uh, as I said, Bruce Geetson stepping back from the MC duties. And so your husband, Matt <laughs> yes. Hines, the chief yes. meteorologist at KXXV 25 News, is going to be uh, handling that. So that's yes. exciting yes, for him. Yes, he will. Thankfully, he is attended multiple oh, times. Yeah. Oh, many times. Done live <laughs> he's, shots. I, he's, I know um, I have a picture he's uh, done of the you chef being interviewed and, by your yes, husband. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. yes. Um, so... Uh, Thankfully, I think I can kind of let him run with it. Oh, he'll be <laughs> so fine. where he will not need a lot of direction. No, no, he'll be um, fine. So yeah, he. I think I think he'll do a great job. <laughs> well, it's gonna be it's gonna be great fun. And again, Friday, February 9th at the base. Everything gets underway at what time? Around seven o'clock. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, the chefs will be already there already and set, set up, and yes. things will be, you know. In the and steaming trays right. and all, what all uh, and with wonderful, wonderful smells as you walk <laughs> in the room. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I think, of course, one one year I was a celebrity chef with Matt, and we yes. did we did we did ribs. We did crock pot ribs. That's right. They were good, but they they were a mess. <laughs> yes, yes. I think I remember his apron was. Oh yeah, <laughs> a mess. He's messy anyway, but you yeah. know, um, yeah, that did not help. So I was very <laughs> yeah, thankful we, for the apron. <laughs> yeah, we had a, we had a lot of fun that year, but yeah, it, it is just a wonderful event. And Stephanie, thank you so much for yes. spending some time with us and for all you do for Waco ISD. Well, thank you for having me today. And uh, cook-off time is here. It's it hard is. to believe. It is. I know. I feel like we just finished, but I know, I know. it comes around quickly. But yeah. it is it is an exciting event and happy to be a part of it. Yeah. Well, it's going to be great for our what twenty. 3, 20, how many chefs will be there? Um, we have 27. 27 chefs, yes. okay. Yes. Lots of food to sample, so bring your appetite when you come. Absolutely. And uh, contact Stephanie to get your tickets. Fantastic. Or a table. Yes. And thanks Thank for being you. with us for Central Texas Events. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.